Welcome back to Golf Training Hacks. You know, shoulder function is so important to golf because your shoulders really have a lot to do with rotation. So getting your shoulders to work right is really important. And if that's the case, then getting your rotator cuff to work right is really important. Because the rotator cuff basically steers the humeral head in the socket. The four muscles of the rotator cuff really need to be strong, have some endurance, and be balanced so during any kind of movement, they keep that humeral head in the right position in the socket. Now that's so important because anytime you actually move your shoulder with arm movement out to the side or in your backswing and your follow through, whenever you're moving your shoulder, it's such a compact and tight joint that you're always impinging the soft tissue that lines the capsule just a little bit. I mean, that's normal. You know, you're always rubbing it and bumping into it a little bit. It's when your humeral head is in the wrong position during movement that there's a problem. Because then the humeral head is really impinging on that soft tissue that lines the capsule. It's scraping it and rubbing it and banging into it. You keep doing that over and over. You keep accumulating those uh, impingements and that's how the soft tissue in that capsule begins to fray and, and you have some damage. If the rotator cuff isn't strong, if those muscles aren't strong and balanced and have endurance, the larger muscles of the shoulder kind of take over the, the movement because the rotator cuff is not strong enough to compensate for the bigger muscles of your shoulder. What happens then is the humeral head is pulled offline and out of center so that it's really rubbing against the soft tissue and it's impinging it and you know over and over again what happens you're going to fray that soft tissue and it's going to be a problem. Another issue is rotator cuff tears. There's a lot of force in the golf swing. So if that rotator cuff isn't strong enough and it's not balanced enough, you're more likely to tear uh, one of those muscles. So it's really important to keep your rotator cuff strong, balanced, and have some endurance in those muscles. Now when you're working your rotator cuff, it's not like bodybuilding. You, you don't want to get a pump in your rotator cuff. It really is about moderate effort but keep that effort going so that you're building some endurance and that you're balancing those, those four muscles so that they control the movement of that humeral head in the joint and you just have a normal amount of impingement, not an excessive amount.